What's going on, you guys? Sharks fans, uh, I know some people still want my Raiders draft recap. Not this video. I will have a video later this week. I got to do my research, and that will come later. So don't just shut this video off if you're waiting for Raiders talk because it's not coming on this video. Anyways, Sharks, yeah, playoff playoffs are always a priority anyways. So, yeah, the Sharks playoff game two, they took this the game two, two to one, or sorry, three to two. <laughs> thanks to some empty net goals and late stuff. Uh, the Sharks really played well, I thought, in the first period. But they weren't scoring. It was just there were some close chances from especially Donskoy. There was that one that should have gone in, and Pecorine uh, stood strong. Uh, but this is your classic equivalent of a pitcher's duel, the at least the hockey equivalent, because both goalies, uh, Martin Jones and Pecorine, were sharp. Uh, Rene, I've always respected Rene, actually. I remember when they, they gave him a contract that Nashville's usually a team that doesn't pay a whole lot, but when they paid him and Shea Weber a few years ago, I mean, I defended that. This is why Pekka Rene's their guy, and he's been pretty legit. So the Sharks, yeah, Pekka Rene stood firm in the first period. Uh, the second period, it started well in the, initially. They had some chances, but then it got very flat. I think Nashville dominated that second period. Uh, defensively, I saw a lot more lapses. The, Martin Jones had to make some big saves and bail them out there. I didn't like what I saw. The possession was bad and so on. So, second period, it wasn't good. But then suddenly at the very end, they killed that penalty. Brandon Dillon made a, a silly move, and you could start, say it might have been a dive, but either way, it's a penalty, and uh, the Sharks killed it almost flawlessly. They had a chance shorthanded. So the momentum was on the Sharks' side after that kill. Then they, they score on the power play. Right when Logan Couture gets a rebound, uh, Brent Burns is... The thing about Brent Burns is sometimes that shot is predictable. I wish you could, like, come up closer and take a shot, not always take one from the point, because teams anticipate it. Uh, but Burns' is shot from the point goes off. It's a rebound, juicy rebound for Logan Couture. Sharks go up 1-0 at the break, and we can be pretty satisfied there. Uh, the third, they sat on it. Uh, the Sharks were sitting on that for a while. I wasn't very happy with what I saw. Uh, Martin Jones made some also some big saves in that third period. I was very satisfied with what I saw from him. Uh, the team defensively got a little bit lucky. Uh, but hey, no goals until about eight minutes left or seven minutes to go. They conceded. It was kind of a weak goal, but really you have to expect it to come when you're asking your goalie to shut out your opponent. You just you know, you can't do that. They sat on it uh, in the third. I, I didn't like what I saw. So, because it was tied, it forced the Sharks to go out there and go and try to score. Uh, they were a little bit more aggressive, and they looked better uh, in the last five minutes. So, credit, got to give credit where it's due. Uh, they get another rebound goal. Joe Pavelski has the net open, and he buries it. That's the go-ahead goal. And then there's some empty net shenanigans. Uh, it's nice to score a goal late, especially when it's a go-ahead goal. Uh, so, didn't have to worry about overtime, like how the Stars and Blues had to. Um, but yeah, the, the go-ahead goal, that was handy. Uh, and then, yes, Joe Thornton had a nice, empty, juicy net, so that was the game-winning goal. We got a little laid back at the end, but I'm not going to really fault that. I mean, when you're up by two goals, you're going to do that. So good thing is that goal came really late, and uh, the Sharks won. I, didn't, I don't think they played great this night, except Martin Jones. They had some flashes, but it, it does need to get better defensively if they want to continue this momentum into the next game. Uh, yeah, I guess the Black Cats continues to be good luck. And by the way, not every culture, Black Cats are not always bad luck in every culture. Look it up. So in some ways, I think maybe that Black Cat actually was a good omen, still is. And I know the Sharks' Twitter has joked about it. Uh, yes, the Sharks are going on the road. Actually, it makes me more comfortable they're going on the road. And they protected the home ice going up 2 nothing. So... That's an accomplishment in itself. Let me know what y'all think. See you guys later. Go Sharks.